Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Magic the Gathering hygiene issues and recently I went to a magic store and it reminded me, um, I don't use the bathroom at magic stores very much, like there's a Chili's and I'm always eating at a restaurant but you know, then sometimes you do have to use the bathroom at the Magic the Gathering store. And yeah, it's kind of not the cleanest bathroom, like it reminds me of uh, a bathroom in a gas station. I mean. One of swords and superheroes, so I'm not giving them a positive shout out, but I will t say that they are actually attached to a gas station. They are part of a gas station, I feel like. Uh, are they part of a gas station? I, I, some, they're somehow, they're like behind a gas station. Anyway, my point being Magic the Gathering hygiene of the store as well as the players is a little lacking and this is a issue I've talked about like two years ago or maybe a year ago and the, it was a lot of negativity because people were like, oh, you know, my magic gathering store is so clean and everyone showers every day and they wear a nice cologne and they dress like penguins. I, I remember this one guy on, I guess it was on my channel or it was on MTG Salvation and he kept saying that like all the people in his... <laughs> And it was it was a running joke. All the people in his F and M wore wore suits and ties, like all like twenty of them. And there was no hygiene problems at all because they were all really wealthy business people. And I was like, well, that doesn't represent my F and M at all. Um, mainly the hygiene issue I attribute to um, you're there to have fun, right? Like you're not there to impress people. Or you're not there to like pick up on. You're not there going to pick. A date on Magic the Gathering, you're not going to meet someone playing Magic, like at least that's my opinion. And you're not going to like get a job interview, you're not going to like all the stuff that you would want good hygiene for, like you're not, that's the exact opposite why you're going to Magic the Gathering, you're going to relax. So I totally get that one. But two stories, right? Um, I think one story I'm going to tell a little later, uh, but the other story was that Phoenix Games and they were both at Phoenix Games. And these dudes travel like all over the place to do, a lot of times people will go on a, what's it called, called when you go on a car ride and you, like a travel ride or something. Anyway, they will go from like miles to miles and they will do pre-release after pre-release after pre-release. And they would do like five pre-releases, but they're traveling in a large vicinity because they don't live in like Houston. They travel outside Houston and it takes them a long time. And it used to be in the winter time, they like slept in the car and then like played some more pre-releases and they get pretty smelly because their car is kind of smelly. And that was probably the grossest experience I've had was playing a Sunday afternoon pre-release with um, a bunch of guys who slept in their car Saturday night. Um, they were playing random pre-releases all over Houston and they've been like, it was kind of bad. Uh, the second issue I have with the hygiene is not just like the showering and you know like um, the dress, I guess. Uh, I would say the food, the greasy food that most um, players bring in the magic store is I, I never bring like my high end stuff like I, I F and M. Um, I just leave it at home mainly for security reasons, but also because I don't want people to you know, touch it with greasy food, because it's very normal, I guess, in my F&M, where someone's eating like, um, what's, guys, I forget that, Popeye's, right, Popeye's chicken, and then they're like, hey, can I see that card? And they're playing at the same time, and you don't want to say, uh, no, can you wipe your hands? I just say, okay, whatever, I'll get new sleeves. Um, and then I have sleeves for F&M, and then I have sleeves for when I play at home. And the sleeves I play at home are very valuable sleeves. I actually purchased a bunch of Emmy sleeves from Devil is a part-timer and those are like 11 bucks for like 40, no, 45. So I needed to buy two of them to make like a deck. Um, and that was like 22 bucks on Amazon. And you know, like I'm not going to like even even sleeves. So the type of sleeves I buy, and I'll show you guys um, them later from like Pokemon Center and stuff like that's The sleeves might be as valuable as some cards in the deck. Um, yeah, the sleeves are like anywhere between $22 to $50 um, depending on what the rarity of these sleeves. I like to use uh, anime sleeves and some of them get kind of pricey. So I don't bring them to F&M, 
But overall, the hygiene is kind of an issue, like the smell, like... Okay, so not only the showering, the showering, the brushing of the teeth, the deodorant, the... Um, actually, the AC is a tremendous problem. If you're in a small environment in Texas, and there was that one store, it was called Battle Bunker, and they never had AC, they just had fans. They never even intended to have AC. So it's like 100 degrees, you're in a small room, the room next to you, which is the open room, has computers and they're overheating like crazy. And it's a lot of people. What do you expect that smells like? Like, do you think it smells good or do you think it would be pretty bad? It's pretty bad, right? Um, also, the uh, last issue I wanna talk about of hygiene is people make a lot of fart jokes uh, or passing gas jokes and that's somehow socially acceptable at Magic the Gathering at Friday Night Magic and most places I've been to and not just like I'm, I don't want to pick on Houston I've been to Virginia and New York and Pennsylvania um, you know you will go to most magic places and there'll be that one dude who makes gas comments all the time and he'll be passing gas as well as he makes the comments. He'll be like, oh, you know, I just passed gas, ha ha ha. Like, like that's socially acceptable in Magic the Gathering. Um, so, mostly, I don't know. These are all issues that kind of annoy me, and I don't know if that annoys you guys. Um, leave a comment below if you've had a bad experience, if the AC ran out and you're in Texas, or, you know, there's that one guy who is eating greasy food. And it's a general, it's kind of like there was a psychology test where um, they had two places, identical places. They graffitied a mailbox a little bit and then they left a mailbox pristine condition. And then nothing happened to the pristine condition mailbox, but the mailbox with a little graffiti, it was knocked over, it was hit, it was multiple levels of graffiti added to it. And it's kind of like a standard that if, the sta if you see someone with a hygiene standard and at f and and they're lowering their standard and you kind of know that, then everyone's like, oh, well, I'm gonna lower my standard too. I remember the one time that one dude had lice. <laughs> like, it's crazy, right? Like, I, I can't make this stuff up. Like, I'm gonna tell you the exact store and like, uh, it was Phoenix Games and uh, used to be in Williamsburg, Virginia, right? So yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for now. Um, just be aware that in my opinion, and you guys can comment if this is asking too much, and in my opinion, hygiene is kind of an issue in Magic the Gathering, so being aware and being aware that there are people around you and they are, you know, they can smell is kind of important, in my opinion. Anyway, don't butcher me in the comments. <laughs> Bye, guys.